Hello everyone, my name is Alicia and this is my team. We are going to present energy prediction towards efficiency. Energy efficiency is very important in many industries as new energy sources are getting more expensive due to limited source. We will use a neural network model to predict the energy consumption so that we can manage more efficiently. So here is the yearly data of the energy consumption and temperature both at 15 minutes interval plotted against time. We've used two weather data, WX1 and WX2, out of the four because it gives slightly better result. Next, we can see that the temperature variations show that the consumption take place in a four-season country, with dominating energy consumption during winter, December to end of March, and summer mid-year, but not as high as winter. However, we can see that the data before 24 November 2014 has very low consumption, and this could affect the accuracy of the prediction of our model. So let us exclude them from the data set to be used in our model. Since the data is very large, let us zoom into the December 2014, the weekly trend data set. We can see that the areas shaded in dark pink highlighting weekends and arrow for public holidays show a pattern of low energy consumption. So it is our training window. Let us zoom in further to the daily data touch. Okay, we are looking into the 18th and 19th December. There is a repeating pattern. Where energy consumption show high peaks during working hours but low peaks during non-working hours. Next is the autocorrelation. Now we can see that the data set is positively correlated up until the data point 3600, where it starts to show negative correlation. Hence, the data will only give more accurate result before 3600 data point. Okay, now we have analyzed all the data. Let us move on to the neural network training for one day ahead of keepers. We start with normalizing the data to speed up our neural network to reach minimum loss, then getting persistence as our benchmark to be which equals 37%. We also know that earlier that the data shows a repetitive pattern for every 96 data points, equivalent to one day. We use these for our simple network. However, for the difference, we use 48 because it shows better test loss compared to 96. Time to train. These are the configurations used for our simple network training. Input size is 54, which depends on the features we use. We also tried multiple neural network size because the test loss can vary in every trial. 10,000 iterations were used to prevent too early stopping. The solver type used was ADEM to stabilize the decrease of loss, and saturator was LREDU and RELU to speed up the reaching of minimum gradient. We used four layers here reduced by two-thirds from the previous layer and one linear combiner at the end. Okay, now let's talk about the result. So our model managed to get a test loss of 0.32, which is less than the persistence of 0.37. This means that our model is a quite good predictor for future energy consumption. However, notice from our test loss graph that our model is actually overfit. Further investigation shows that not only it is overfit, it also have a problem in its leg, which only have a lag correlation of 0.68. So to reduce the overfitting, we try to introduce regularization and dropout. But it turned out that our test loss actually increased, and the overfitting remains. Although the lag actually increased by 0.04 to the value of 0.72. And not only that, we can also see that the scatter plot that we produce is actually a bit tighter than the one before which show promise of increasing accuracy. Next idea we try is by inputting more information into our model, by including difference between the current energy consumption with the past energy consumption with of certain window. So, it turned out that we managed to increase our model accuracy to 0.28. And although the lag turned out to reduce back again to 0.62, the correlation scatter plot managed to produce a more straighter line, although with more noises. And we also tried several other features, but they do not perform as good as difference with higher test loss. This slide shows the representative lag of the features from the previous slide because each feature shows similarities with this slide. The lag did not show any improvement peaks at 96. We have also tried another framework, SGBoost, but the test loss and lag are very bad because the model cannot be updated and has limited function. In conclusion, our model Best test loss was 0.2897 with difference as our additional advanced feature. We also noted that the lag was better than when this regularization with the peak test loss at T0 equals to 0.72. We can predict the energy consumption at T96 during different seasons or working days so that we can ev efficiently manage the energy resources. These are the further improvements that can be done for our model, not limited to using larger windows, trying more combinations of features, and trying with the advanced features. Thank you for your attention. For more details, please visit this Medium article.